In this tutorial, I will explain how to migrate the Things Gateway from the Things Network to the Things Tech Community Edition Network. This presentation can be found at this location. All my LoRa LoRaWAN tutorials and presentations can be found at this location. In this video, when V2 is mentioned, V2 refers to the Things Network, and when V3 is mentioned, V3 refers to the Things Tech Community Edition. More information about the Things Gateway can be found at this location and this location. In this tutorial, I will assume you have an account and can access the V3 console. Select Go to Gateways. Select Add Gateway. Enter your gateway information. Enter a gateway ID. In this tutorial, I will use this gateway ID. Write this down, you will need it later. The Things Gateway has no gateway AUI. Leave this field empty. Enter your gateway name. In this example, I will be using this gateway name, which is the same as the gateway ID. Check the gateway server address. Depending on your selected region when you logged in, the region can be Europe, North America, or Australia. My gateway is located in the Netherlands, which is in Europe. The gateway server address should be a1.cloud.thethings.network. Write this down, you will need it later. This gateway server address is correct. Now select your frequency plan. My gateway is located in the Netherlands, which is in Europe. My selected frequency plan is Europe 863 to 870 MHz, spreading factor 9 for RX2 recommended. It is this one. All other fields are not changed. Select Create Gateway. In the Gateway Overview screen, you can see your gateway. This is my gateway. This is the gateway I just created. The gateway status is disconnected. Now select the gateway by clicking on it. You can change the gateway location settings by clicking on this link, but I will not demonstrate this. Now select API keys, this link. Enter a name. I have entered this name. And now select the rights. Select grant individual rights. That is this option. And select link as gateway to gateway server for traffic exchange, i.e. write uplink and read downlink. That is this option. Scroll down and select create API key. Now copy and save the newly created API key. You will need this key later. So press this button to copy the key. You won't be able to view the key afterwards. You can delete this key or add new keys, but I will not demonstrate this. After you copy the key, select I have copied the key. In the API keys overview screen, you can see your created API key. You can make changes to this API key by selecting Gateway Link. That's this link. But I will not demonstrate this. If you made a mistake, you can make changes to your gateway settings. Select your gateway. And in the left menu bar, select General Settings. But I will not demonstrate this. Your gateway is now registered in the Things Stack Community Edition network. After you have followed the procedure, you should have saved the following. The gateway ID, the gateway server address, and the API key. Add HTTPS to the gateway server address. The gateway server address will look like this. This applies to my situation. Your region might differ. Now you will make changes to the gateway itself, this gateway. The Things Gateway will later communicate with your router. Select one of these options, Ethernet cable. If you select this option, connect the Things Gateway to your router using an Ethernet cable. Or Wi-Fi. 
If you select this option, the Things Gateway requires your router SSID and password. Keep this information at hand. You will need it later if you select this option. Remove the white plastic cover, make sure the antenna is connected, and power up the Things Gateway. Press the pink reset button in the middle, that is this button, for 5 seconds until each of the 5 LEDs illuminates these 5 LEDs. The Things Gateway now provides a Wi-Fi access point. So on my computer, I can see the Wi-Fi access point SSID. The Things Gateway SSID looks like this. And the password is the Things. Please note, I never had to enter a password. On your computer, connect to this Wi Fi access point. To view the Things Gateway information, open a browser and navigate to this address. And you will see your gateway information. The firmware version should be at least 1.0.8, as you can see over here. To change the Things Gateway configuration, open a browser and navigate to this address. Enter your Gateway ID. I have entered my Gateway ID over here. Select your Wi-Fi router SSID and enter its password if you opted for this option. Select your Wi-Fi router SSID over here and enter its password over here if you opted for this option. Otherwise, leave these two fields empty. Select Show Advanced Options. Enter the account server address. This is the same as the gateway server address. And enter the gateway key. This is the same as the API key you have saved. Select Save. The Things Gateway is now configured. Now you should connect your computer Wi-Fi to your router SSID. Log in to the Things Stack Community Edition console. Go to Gateways and in the Gateways Overview screen, select your gateway. I have selected my gateway, as you can see over here. After a few minutes, you will see Receive Gateway Information in the Live Data window as you can see over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.